Hello everyone, welcome to this Minecraft video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a door with my uh, this door I feel. This is the finished result, so closing. And there's absolutely no cooldown. Right, right, so and yeah, this is um this is what we built and this is the fin finished result. So let me show you what you which resources you're going to need. So going to need 169 of uh, door frame blocks, 120 um uh, wiring block plus 43 wiring blocks. So that's 163 wiring blocks, 96 observers, 89 redstone dust, 67 redstone repeaters. 65 sticky pistons 22 slabs which can also be any other uh transparent blo uh, block seven note blocks six cyan carpet or string four hoppers four pistons one activator or uh powered rail a lever one obsidian and one target the obsidian can also be a furnace if you want Please note that this is a Java only build. Right. That's just, uh. Yeah. That's it. Uh, let's just move on to the tutorial. We'll be building a little 5x5 five five I've built with my little friend, uh, Mirror Sam. Um. So basically, you want to. This is where the frame will be. This is where the door will actually close. So uh, you want to have a two block gap and then three block deep hole here. And then you want it a uh, 15 by nine hole in the ground. This will be where all the circuits will be. Okay, so uh, let's just uh, watch how uh, the door works. So the closing. Yeah, and then I'll just uh, do the opening. Right, uh, he built the sides, and I built the top and bottom. Now we linked it together. So let's start by a little building a little uh, layout. So let's start like having a little folded triple here. Now we actually want a server here with a piston, regular piston, that's going to be the top. Now for the bottom, we actually want pistons within the frame. Uh, maybe I'll say we'll just uh, build the uh, sides quickly. So you want a 5x2 pistons going in, and the same on the other side. And then out here, you want some storage, like so. Let's just fill in the storage here. Alright, and then that should be it. Now for the bottom, you want an extra storage down here. And then a single piston here. Because actually, we when we close it, we start like this. And then we open that up like so. Just uh, just get a button. Like so. And then like and then for the top we just that also prepares it for the uh and then uh we'll push down. We'll grab the block and then there's something about it doing like so and like this go up and then we push over it's actually gonna be here and then we give this some pulses like so now you can go in and just attract that 
better. We grab it like so. And then we just and down here this will just sort itself out. So now let's do the sides. I'll let NeuroSam do that. So start here. I'll just be silent while he builds. Okay, just checking if it's what you know what we what we still missing. Right. Yeah, we don't want to fix that. Good, so that's the sides. Alright, now just mirror the exact same thing. Uh, I will just do that uh, really quickly here. Just a time lapse. Should be done. Let's just test it really quickly. Yep. Perfect. All right. So let's actually just get a prop input. So we're gonna need. Uh, just okay. Just gonna rip this up. So we are gonna remove these, then replace these with slabs. 
And then oh, we're gonna just this is gonna be the inputs. Let me just get that. Boom. And then just there. Uh, these should be no. Carpets on top just to make them silent. Just gonna place right there. And then I'm just gonna do this. You don't have to do this. Now let's reset this. Let's get rid of this. Alright, good. Now I'm gonna just do the exact same thing over here. Uh, carpet. This can also be a string. Any other block, any other block, block really. Alright, then I'm just gonna make one. Like, then I can just start turning this. Okay, if you want all these to be extended, then I'm just gonna do this. You don't have to do the tuning I'm doing. Just make sure it looks like this. Now we're gonna do the tearing up again here. Alright, then we're gonna have this go up like so. like so and then we're also going to have our input here okay. now let's do the top so uh, actually I'm just gonna link them together so it's gonna go up and down so like so and I'm just gonna place a block here So that's the six linked together. All right, let's just make a little staircase here so we can bring some power up to the top. It's gonna go up like here, I think. Ah, another block. And then it's just gonna go across. And it's gonna go back down just to make sure it's symmetrical. Actually, want observer facing down. And this is gonna be the input to the top. Uh, both in the closing and the opening, we want to uh, just power the top piston here. So let's start by doing that. And then let's do the closing. Which is the absolute simplest. Yeah. We want to have toggles on each side. Each of them have to be like staggered like so. And then I go up like so into an observer facing down. And then we want a little updater piston. Let's just place the repeater first. And that just broke it, but that's fine. Just replace the stuff. Remember, this has to be a piston, or else it's gonna break. Alright, so let's just test the top. I'm just gonna do that with just breaking and replacing this dust. This should go down and extend like so. Now let's start by doing a little bit of the opening. So, I'm gonna start by going out. So, then we're gonna go down into the door frame here, just like so, it's pretty simple. And then let's force it here, and then we want that one to go down, and like this, and then down to a slab, just so we don't butt that. And then we just 
have a for check here. Then we just want to take an output from there as well. And then we're just going to power the top again. Like so. And we are going to go down onto the door frame again. Mm. Then I have four ticks going over like this. And then it's going to go up here. And right here, we're also gonna have server with a four tick. And then let's go over like so. Another four tick. Then go up into another four tick. And then just have server and piston. Going into block. Now you want to have a toggle here, which is down by default. Yep. Uh, no, up by default. And then let's have. Uh, like so. A little slab here. Because we don't want to butt anything. I'm just going to use slabs here. And then go into block. Just want to have dust on here and then a two tick. Then we just want to have a target like so. We want that to power an activator rail. Going into uh, just check. Yep, it's perfect. Going over into a block. Now we also want to just get the piston like so. Then we'll grab output going up to a four tick, and then it's gonna up, and then like this, and then just want a piston with server, and then we want that to have a toggle, and then just to get the output from the toggle, we'll have dust there. And then it's gonna be here by default. Now we're also just gonna get a four tick and a one tick into a server. All right, I'm missing something. Ah, yes. All right, now go here. Then get a hopper. And then we just wanna output like so then in to a block then we want to go up into a another observer like so and then just two dust and then just get rid of this Three repeaters, but the last repeater is on an observer facing down. And uh, just get it like so. Then we want that observer to go into this, which we get down like so. And then we just want, uh, we just want to block there, and then we want output from there. To block and then a three tick which goes we want to get a one tick from that so we get a server and then we're gonna want to go down like so into a three tick then i want to power that toggle go down and then up that's actually where we get that from uh, okay want to get a hopper from here to an observer and a slab block just wanna have these repeaters and then want an observer 
facing down like so and yeah we want to just take from here again and I'll put like so on a that so to tick just get reset that like so and we want to take the output from there then I was just missing this block and that block all right let's just test that Yep, that is perfect. So let's move on to the bottom. All right, so for the bottom, we wanna just start by having closing. The reason why we're doing the bottom last actually is because this is important because it powers a piece of dust here at the right time. And then also the top, of course, pushes the entire bottom down. Or the this stack will, of course, go up like this. Then the top will actually push that down. And then we just want the bottom to sort it out. Let's start with closing. So we want to have piston here. An observer. And then into a block like so. I want that block to power that. I just want to make sure we have obsidian here so the top doesn't push down. Alright, let's have this here. A four tick going into the, the uh, piston with an observer. And then we want to have that block. Then we want to make sure that every second time we power this uh, block, which also powers the... Uh, storage here we want to have a slab a smooth stone slab just power that with a one tick delay and this is also a part of the um closing because this actually powers it powers this one and through the block this one all right um let's just continue the input here into here the dust and then we want another one of these toggles here or a uh, piston with the observer this will also be uh, used in the opening all right and then let's just uh, the output going to a block and then we just drag that out to a three tick, which powers this. And then this uh, powers this one, which goes into a block. And then into here. And then we also want to just power this one and then that one. Just to get the final one, uh, currently we just have this, we just want to power this, and then this. So to do that, we're gonna go into a hopper here, actually. Hopper, and then server, and then we get that going to block goes up here into this piston then we have that going on that should be the uh, closing for the bottom so perfect now let's take care of the opening so I'm just gonna get rid of this Right, so let's get this up. 
if anything breaks just make sure this toggle is down like so that's very important because else this will power at the wrong time might even push this up like so or actually it'll be in the closing so that'll actually be a block there which might just push this over and break this so it's pretty important all right now let's start by getting the first pulse which is actually to this one so we want a three tick and then right here we want to get dust out and then into there so that should get our first pulse into that piston which will um be when this block is down so it'll power that and then that the next time we want to power this again but at that point this one has already retracted its block luckily it has this piston has actually uh grabbed that block at the, that point in time so we should be fine so let's get a two tick and a four tick and then that observer being there shouldn't do anything and then a four tick and we want this go out oops like so right uh yes this should piss this should be a, a one tick though all right now finally we just want the last pulse which just retracts this uh, block the final block so we want to get that from here just go up like so and then four tick and we want to make sure we don't power that so it's just that and then just have that with a four tick there and two dust three dust actually and just four ticks like so that should be it so yeah and perfect Now all these remaining blocks can be either a solid block or a glass or a transparent block, um, like so. And these blocks in this pattern can also be glass. Just make sure this block here stays as a solid block because it actually powers pistons at this level and this level. Right, so I'm just gonna fill this out. Uh, my row sign here. Oh, and... Yep, that should be your door, so. Perfect. All right. Good. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. Yes, yes. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe and like. <laughs> I feel bad when I say that. All right. Let's just, let's just watch it one more time. I know the top is kind of slow. That's what are you gonna do about it? Yeah, that was that's what I thought. Right. Um. Yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. See ya.